Hello everybody, this is Christopher 40 here, and I am back with more of uh, Tropico 6, playing the campaign maps. Continuing where I left off on the mission Pirate King. So, let's go right into the usual recap. Uh, as you guys could see here, before going into the task overview, didn't do really much last time, uh, last week. Uh, Moved a few things around, did an awful lot more of the management style, so it was a little bit boring, you know, sending out pirate code, uh, pirate raids from pirate coves and dealing with a lot of, uh, some building, but not too much. It was primarily a few things of dealing with missions and such. Uh, but we'll go straight here into the task overview as we usually do for our uh, recap. So we still have the Fort Hypothesis quest, main quest from General Rodriguez to have a fort and reach World War's era. Uh, in the midst of this, uh, we just need to do one more thing, uh, which is this. We were just doing uh, the first mission that we got, uh, first part of this mission from Penultimo to uh, get the revolutionary standing and so on for uh, us to become independent from the crown. Now we have Tally Ho, prepare for war, which we've been doing for the last 325 days as of last week, uh, and survive the crown attack, which will happen in 790 days. So once that happens, we deal with their crown, the, the, the attack from the crown, and survive. We advance to the world wars, uh, and finally do that and complete that main quest. We also have this optional quest: uh, have a lumber mill uh, and export planks, which I'm still planning on doing because it will be nice to try to get as many things as we can. I do have something else around that. Uh, so between now and the next few weeks, I'd love to hear what you guys think of the idea. Of maybe trying to get Stonehenge, because that might be helpful. If not, please let me know in the comment section down below if uh, you've got any comments or any suggestions around stuff like that. Uh, I feel like lumber might be a good idea. I don't know. Rum seems to be the best idea, because it's getting us a lot of money. And we have almost uh, just close to $60,000 worth of money uh, from a lot of our exports. But yeah, so we have to get exporting of planks which we are using pirate rates to do so. Uh, we are exporting leather. We have a tannery now. Uh, just built uh, that, uh, not last week, but a few weeks ago. And we have this mandate extension, which I am not caring for. And it will probably just disappear by the time we go into the World War Zero, so it will not be our biggest issue. Uh, but, I mean, I could just do this to get us some extra time. Uh, don't really care. Don't really care about the mandate extensions, because I'm doing fine. We're not going to need this in the future. All right. So let us continue with the usual. Uh, so yeah, I was mentioning about maybe we should, maybe it would be a good idea to try to get the stone hens. Uh, I want to try and check this. No way, it's in pirate raids. What am I thinking? Yeah, because this will be useful because it doesn't. Uh, it does make trees grow around the monument, which would be nice. Trees are scarce here. Uh, I mean, this might be a good idea as well. I don't know. But that would suck if you didn't have diehard political views anymore. Uh, at least I think. It depends on certain things. Uh, that would be nice. Just prevent citizens from dying of bad health care. Bad health care is something I have a hard time with. At the beginning of some of these. From time to time. All these are very useful at the start, in a way. Uh, if you have a problem with not a lot of trees, diehard political views, citizens from dying from bad health care, that one is a big deal. All right. This will be interesting. Very, 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 very interesting. Okay. Yeah. Is there anything in particular we could do for research? Ah, right. Another thing I'm going to do is this, and I'm going to do this for all. See how that goes, because people might enjoy that. Let's do that. Okay. Uh, 
All right, there we go. Perfecto. We're probably going to need a few more houses. Almost all of our homes. Yeah. Governor, the oh. people have a request. But for safety reasons, it is a secret request. I will accept this. Uh, producing fish is something we do almost all the time nowadays, so I will accept that one. We are getting closer and closer to the doing uh, the completion of this mission, which is nice. Uh, we have our banana, wool, and coconut all in here in the room. Quality leather you make, Governor. Appreciate the exports. They're a nice little earner. In a way, yes, they could be, yes. Uh, so, new export leather trade route with the crown. Nice. Alright, so, might try and get into doing some of these. Uh, let's check out our exports. So, I want to look at the ones with the crown. Because we got... Where's that one for leather? Wow, a plus 20% leather contract. I would still want to get that done, and yeah, we get like 2,700 extra total bonus dollars on top of, yeah, that's nice. We're 20% above standard. Nice. I want to do this just because I want to earn money. Just because I want to earn money and have a fair amount of good money uh, later on. So, yeah, all the rest of these are like Minus 50%, which means we're not earning a lot. But this one, we're earning a lot. Like leather. Look at leather. Look at $6,480 for this route per 1,000 units. That's that's a good amount of money right there. So I am going... I'm going to get that one. And I feel like I want to get the one for planks, too. So I'll do that. And I'll try and get that one. Okay, so we're going to produce fish... And I wanna try and export planks. So how much do we have? We have 83 planks. Uh, no, wait, wait, that's leather. Planks is right here. We don't even have logs, do we? Are we not doing a raid mission for getting logs? We might have. Uh, might. Oh. It's right here. This is the logs one, but there is no one doing it. Okay, never mind. Okay, all right. So we'll just wait and see how that goes. We're uh, 528 days and counting into our 720, not 790. We made that a little bit of a thing. Oh, this might be our one thing we're looking for. Money. Rum, coal, selfish. Nice. We're probably going to need to get a little bit more of our rum. So. Uh, oh, right. Coconut sugar, wool. Okay. I'm going to stay. We need more. I think I'm always going to try and do like two of these as much as possible. So we're going to have one going out to do logs, and another to go out and do some more sugar. And I have another trade, and another raid. Trade! Raid! Oh, they both kind of rhyme in a way. Uh, another raid to go and get some more sugar, because we want to keep that up. If I could have more than the four pirate coves, I would be having a dozen of these, or at least half a dozen of these going out to get some more stuff. Okay. Um...
I'm feeling like since we have like a nice tiny little community over here, I want to kind of... Um, oh. Viva la revolucion! Together, Governor Ju, I, and the people will turn everything around. Nice. Okay, let's get some revolutionary immigrants. More people. Less than a hundred days until we have to prepare for war. Um... Trying to think. Typically, they do not come in the colonial area. I believe colonial colonial era with tanks, but I don't know if I'm going to need more than one fort. I'm just going to do it anyways. I'm going to put like a fort. Can I do it right up in here? I'm gonna put a fort right up in here, just because. Oh wow! I I need to move the uh, busker. Um, the busker over there, and then. Oh right. Okay. So I need to do. Oh wow, I can't even really do a road up to here that much. That kind of sucks in a way. Okay, uh, let's... Having some technical difficulties, it seems. So I can go down that far, but nothing else. Okay. Relocating this. Can I put it up over in here somewhere? Nope. There's not really much I can do with this. Hmm. Oh, wow, I can't even put it up here. Okay, alright, so I'm gonna have to put our thing over here because I want to make sure that we have a road going up. getting a fair amount more money. Yay. Let's move this down to here. I'll move this down to here. Oh, wait. Oops. And then I can move this. Nope. Move. Okay, I, I can't move it over there. I can move it up to here. Nah, that might be too far. Ah, over to there. And then I will move this. Right to there. I'm thinking about this and maneuvering the road around a bit and putting the circus back down here. and just changing up where the road is. Seriously, that's too short of a road? Oh, of course. What do you, you say it's too short of a road, but then you tell me I can't, seriously. There we go. That was better. <laughs> All right, so we've got ourselves something else going on over here. We have a fort being built over here, and uh, 
I believe they are coming in. Yep, here we are. About two of them. So far. Okay, so. Well, I was doing everything else. It seems like we got like $10,000 worth of freight. Uh, a raid complete of 1,200 coconut, 1,800 sugar, and 1,000 wool. I am going to say quick build to get some people working there. Uh, we also got 24,000, over $24,000 worth of more gold, more freight sold, and about 14 more people. Yay! Okay, that's good. I we are doing it. I ask myself, Governor, do the ends justify the end me? But for independence, any sacrifice is worthwhile. Of course it is, of course it is, Sophia. Yeah. Alright, another one of the revolutionary demands. I'm going to accept this, because this is pretty simple. Just let them produce fish. And then we can get some more people. Oh. So here they come. They're coming on in. And... We'll have... Two forts. 16, I think, eight, yeah, eight and eight, 16 people that are going to try and defend Tropico from the crown. He was hoping we are success successful. Viva la revolucion! Together, Governor Ju, I, and the people will turn everything around. I feel like I'm turning the people, uh, turning everything around already anyways. All right, more revolutionary immigrants, yes. The more, the merrier. Uh, and apparently I am not worrying about uh, people, so I'm going to put another one of you here, maybe even another one of them. There. Have them all spread out a little bit. Okay, it looks like they have just started showing up. They have about eight, so there's about two of them. One is still moving on. They're heading for the circus. Oh, no, now they are heading straight back. So there's about eight of them. And there's going to be eight of our people, hopefully. And there's another set coming. Seem to be winning it, so that's not bad. That'll be good to get that dealt with. So, okay, good. We have this one fully filled up. Nice. So, so far, everything is going good. We are earning money. I think this is, like, the best I've, I've done on a map so far, I feel. Uh, unless anyone else in the comment section down below has anything to mention about that so far. I mean, the easiest one was the first five episodes uh, out of all the episodes I've done so far. Okay, wow. One. Wow. Well, I suppose you did rather well for a bunch of savages. We're pirates, not savages. Get the name right. All right, so we prepared for war and... Uh, 720 days. Survived the crown attack, so we are advancing to the world walls. Yeah. So we don't get to export the planks and that trade route. So, eh. Advance the world wars. Yeah! No, we still have the optional planks. Nice. For the first time as El Presidente. All right, so, perfecto. Struggle relations with four political factions that shape public opinion. Right, side with one of two opposing superpowers. Right, and send commandos on raids to suppress guerrillas and keep superpowers from attacking. Nice. All right, so, okay, that's okay. Ah. The uh, Constitution of Tropico. I go for all citizens vote. I allow that. Uh, I like that idea. Uh, and then... Pacifist state? Militia. Uh, I, I go with militia. I don't want to go pacifist state. I want to be able to defend myself. Those are the only two I'm going to worry about so far. I would love to be able to go through the majority of the Constitution of Tropico more in depth. Uh, in other games. I proudly Ooh. report the construction of our secret hidden fort. <laughs> it is sure to bamboozle the crowd. Report, probably report the construction of our secret hidden fort. Secret hidden fort. It's not that much of a secret, and it's not that hidden. So, okay, general. Alrighty. Well, blueprint for shipyard. Yes. 
We got that. Lad, our defense is secure. <laughs> and thank you so much for my promotion. I must be the world's first pirate general. <laughs> All right, general. We have the no main quest. Not enough fish in the sea. We have. This is interesting. So export boats uh, of a thousand. Build world wonders building. Build world wonders building. Building or buildings? Because uh, you're saying build two of those. Have money in the treasury of 100,000. Well, we're almost up there. We're about like just 25,000 shy to get up to $100,000. And then we win the game. Wow. If this goes quicker than I expected, this is going to be not a lot of episodes, hopefully. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. Okay, let's continue and accept that mission. Nice. So, okay, so our export of even planks is now gone. That is it. This is our only mission so far. Exporting boats. Luckily enough, we don't need to worry about... Uh, what is it? The... And it extensions now. We just need to worry about elections. Okay. Well, this is going fine and dandy now. So, I am totally going to say to myself, getting Stonehenge. I so think that getting stone hands is a good idea. Right now, exporting of boats, which means we have the money for it. So, uh, it is right down here. Yes, shipyard. Doesn't cost that much. And, uh, sorry, it costs a lot. It's almost $10,000 worth. It costs a lot. It's not that big a deal when you have 70000 more than $70,000. So, let's get the shipyard. And... I'm trying to think, where would we want to put our shipyard? Might not be the best idea over there. Ah, we could put it right over here. I mean, it is the furthest away from some things, but still. I'd want it near the pirates. So, let's do it there. <laughs> Roads in this can be very weird. There we go. So we got ourselves a shipyard. Pretty far away from everything else, obviously. Uh, I almost want to make a road going all the way out here, but no. Don't want to go through everything here. Or do I? Okay. Eh. So the question is, what do we need? Planks, right, we need planks to produce boats. That's not bad. Not bad at all. It's kind of nice to be able to complete the mission now, after a few weeks of not being able to complete it. It did take a while to try to complete the... Getting through the World Wars here, but now that we're finally here, it doesn't feel like it took too much. Which is good. How are we doing for... Okay, good. We are rolling in it now. Okay, pirate raids. Nice. We also need some more hides eventually. Okay, well, either or. Everything seems to be going better than I would have expected. And knowing that we have a Teamster port over here is one good thing. I'm almost thinking... Let us get ourselves a Teamster's office. I think we need one. So I'm going to put a Teamster's office right here. An official announcement from the palace declares that we are definitely winning the war. Keep listening to find out which side we are currently on. Just because I want to change up a few things with the road. Yeah, no, not the best idea to go down that way. 
So then we are gonna go like this, and then like this, connect that to here. I'm gonna move this down here a bit more. Let that get out of its way, and then reconnect the road. There we go! Perfect. Might be a good idea to do that. Okay, so let's pause it there for now. We've done a fair amount this time around. We moved a few things around, added a second fort to deal with our invading forces from the crown. Uh, we've been adding more homes, moved a few things around here to move the circus around. Uh, we've added in our new thing of the shipyard. Uh, moved a few things around over here as well, like this. Uh, added in a teamster port. Uh, add some more homes over here. And so on. Lots more, lots more to come. But what else will we do next time? Find out next week. So please leave your comments in the comment section down below. Like the video if you liked it. And share this with your friends. That would be much appreciated. Also, please subscribe if you have not subscribed and want to see any more future content. And hopefully I will be back after my vacation, my week of a vacation that I am still going to be on by the time you watch this video. So I hope you enjoy it. So stay tuned for another week of gaming. And until then, stay healthy and stay safe. And keep on gaming out there. See you next time. Bye.